Nobody likes testing, it's hard. It, it's an all out effort every time. But with the ramp test, it really only hurts for about two or three minutes. The ramp test has a better chance of leading us to more effective workouts because we get a more accurate assessment of a rider's fitness. The ramp test is quite simply a graded exercise test. So we'll, we warm riders up for a really easy five minutes and then every minute thereafter it gets slightly harder until the rider simply can't go any longer. The ramp test removes pacing from the equation. With both the eight and 20 minute tests, we need a steady state effort, wherein pacing is crucial. Yeah, you have to get it right. If you don't, your estimate can suffer as a, as a result of it. Whereas with the ramp test, pacing is a non-issue. The resistance simply steps up every minute and you ride until you can't ride any longer. The, the structure of the ramp test, being that it steps up and, until the rider reaches a point of failure, has shown us that we can't really overestimate FTP. So we're not trying to get a complete snapshot of a rider's capabilities. Rather, we just need a starting point that we can use as an anchor for all the training that's gonna make them faster.